Okay. Here we have a huge plush lot of four. And they all contain rare characters that go away for more when I got, including a Mario Party 5 Yoshi brand new tag. And I got, in the Yoshi, I got a brand new tag. I got it in the lot for like $35. Well, I see the Yoshi, but first I'm gonna pull out the unlocalized Piranha Plant. Hey guys, it's me, Piranha Plant. And you can see over here, it says 2011, not 2013. And um, here it is, and it has beads, which means it's official. And um, if Mr. McCormick can try and find it, like the Piranha Plant after it, because this is like a lot tinier than the actual little buddy one. And yeah, this one looks really, really good. I love its hanger. Um, I wonder where they got this at. Here's a full look at the tag. This is our first Mario with this tag. Well, not our first, because like a long time ago when we got our fix and stuff, we probably received this tag like a billion times. This has old logo. And yeah, 2011. So let's move on to not Mario Party 5 Yoshi. I'm gonna save him for last. We have the Wii Super Mario Bros. Wii Mario. You can see he has beads. He looks fairly nice, actually. And his price tag was like 8 dollars nine, nine. Global holding, um, does it say the store or something? Department, no it doesn't. Like you, it's global holdings, everything. I love this global holdings tag. I don't know if you can see it. Um, here it is in the beginning. And yeah, it just looks really, really nice. So I'm happy with it, it has beads. And yeah, he's really floppy. I really love it like this. He looks like really good. And now the last one before Small Mart Pretty Five Yoshi is a bam presto mario this is a shell mario i believe this might be a keychain version i forgot i don't know if mr mccormick explained it like in the discussion but wow this detail on it is actually pretty nice look at the embroidering everything the mario looks fairly nice for being like a keychain of some sort has a string and the bam presto tish tag of course um oh, this one i felt beads but anyways here's this bam presto tag it's like really thick Mario SML plush. What does that mean? Oh, small. 2006. I, why did it say SML? Um, you can open the inside, but I would need to chop off the tag, which I'm not going to chop off the tag, of course. It's a flap. Looks fairly good. I, I actually really love this plush. It's cardboard in the feet. It's really soft and everything. Now, last but not least, a small Mario Party 5 Yoshi plush. Ah, this thing looks so adorable. Oh, I love its tush tag again. This is a fairly nice tush tag. Here's its tag in all its glory. Here it is. They got it from an import shop. It looks like fun and games. They got it, which is a funny, funny, funny price for $95. So yeah, here it is. It has some beads in the feet. It's like mostly at the edge. And in the butt as well. This Yoshi is so adorable. I'm so glad I didn't end up paying like a billion dollars for it. So I'm like really so happy with this. I can't believe it. I love all of these plushes to death. Here's the final plush haul of mine that I got. Now we'll move on to Mr. McCormick to unbox his other fuzzy and his dry Bowser. Hey, it's me, Piranha Plant. I'm White Tag. What? Now let's move on to my two. This one in here is a fuzzy. And if you're getting tired of fuzzy unboxings on this channel, well, I got bad news for you. Because I'm going to keep getting fuzzies as long as they're available on Amazon. So you better expect more fuzzies in the future for me, at least. So another fuzzy, let's open him. Hopefully this one's cross-eyed. Hopefully. Uh, it is! <laughs> Now you know why I keep getting fuzzies, because fuzzies one of my favorite enemies and one of my favorite flushes of all time. Here it is, cross-eyed fuzzy. I need I will never stop ordering these as long as they're on Amazon. Because I love fuzzies. This one's oh this one has the cross-eyed eyes. It looks so adorable. Yep. Fuzzy, not much to say that we haven't already said before, I just wanted to unbox him as a part of this haul today, but cross-eyed Fuzzy, I love him, this will not be the final Fuzzy I'll get, I will get many more Fuzzies in the future, so now let's move on to the final plush opening of the day. Another dry Bowser, now you'll be questioning me for this one too, but 
I've said this so many, many times on our videos, but this All-Star Dry Bowser right here is my favorite plush ever. Like, ever. In all of our years of collecting since 2014, this Dry Bowser is my absolute favorite plush. Better than the Luigi's, better than regular Bowser's. It's just my favorite out of all of them. So, ugh, I need scissors for that. This is my second dry Bowser. It goes well with my other one because I have two regular all-star Bowsers. So this will look nice with the other Bowsers in the family. And there's this weird thread here, but threads off. And here's the dry Bowser once again. Looks just as good as the other one is. The little buddy dry Bowser. Oh, my problems are fixed. This one. Here he is, Dry Bowser, as good as the other one is. We've reviewed him at length before, so I won't go over his reviews too much, but I will compare him later with everyone else. And another reason I did want another one, and I'll show this in the comparisons later, but the shell on my other Dry Bowser, it was like very, um, like poorly sewn, I guess because one of these spikes you could see the exposed stitching and like just the it was coming apart and I've barely used it too I've been afraid to like use it for videos too because just how delicate that one looks so this is another reason why I bought another one was because that one was so delicate and so far the shell looks better on this one the stitching is much cleaner and it looks like it's much more durable to use in videos too so yeah dry Bowser Fuzzy, and then Evans Hall. So now we'll compare everyone. So now let's get on to comparisons of the first one we unboxed, which was New Super Mario Bros. Wii Mario. So yeah, we got him over here. Here's one quick overview of him. He looks really, really, really nice. Here's his touch tag. It's brand new. You can barely see it. This is Mario. Course. Global holding to make it or whatever. And yeah, let's compare him. So um yeah, here he is compared to um old Fire Mario. So you can kind of see a resemblance, they kind of look the same. The face is like a huge a lot bigger on this module. This one looks more like an all-star one. This one actually kind of looks like a mix between MP5 and Galaxy Mario. So yeah. And let's compare it with the Mario riding Yoshi, which is also pretty, pretty nice. So we have them here. You can see the Mario looks like a little off this one over here. This one has embroidery as well. Um, this was, I believe, um, Sine's fourth attempt at making a Mario because the Sunshine, MP5, Galaxy, and now this one. So yeah, this was Sine's fourth attempt. And weirdly, they did not have localized plush, unlocalized plushes of the Wii ones, which is a little bit strange, but hey, Wii Mario. So now we compare it with our main Mario Wii's in our videos, which is of course the All-Star Mario. He's really nice. The detail on his stash is really nice. You can see this one doesn't really have the grooves. I don't really care because I still like this Mario. This is like a really nice Mario, and you can tell this is a really big upgrade for the Mario Party 5 one, because actually they never made a normal looking Mario, only the Mario Party 5 one was a normal looking one. Because the Mario holding the mushroom was like a variant, so this is actually their second, second attempt at making a regular Mario, but you can see they really improved on this. Kind of still loose overalls, but now they're connected to the plush so you can't rip anything off of it, which is really good. And now... Those are all the comparisons of the Mario. Here's one quick overview of all of them just to get an idea of how big Wii Mario is. And I'll just show them over here. So you can see all the Marios. I need to kind of go a little quick with this because there's a lot to compare as you guys can see over here. A lot of plushes to compare. 
with the shell Mario over here. Here's one quick overview of him. He has like really, really nice detail. We reviewed him kind of in the discussion about the DS set. And we actually have some of the DS set of like the Wave 3 done because our first comparison is with um, something else that's from the exact same wave of the DS plushes, the mushroom, because the other mushroom, the first release with the pop ghost sound, was actually like plastic around and this one's embroidery. So you can see these are like scratchy material, some plastic here and there on the Mario. And you can see they really fit together. Here's its DS tag. This is 100% what our Mega Mushroom probably had. These are both official and stuff. But yeah, these are really nice. Go together. They're from the same wave. Now I'm going to show the room. And, and I'm not talking about the waves anymore because um, I'm just going to show off the whole DS set. So um, these are all the DS ones I have currently. Like, you didn't realize these are actually Popco ones that I'm having. But these are actually not Popco. These are just the American release of the Band Prestos, as it says on the wiki. They're not Pop. They weren't made by Popco, everybody. They were made by Band Presto, but localized by Popco for the U.S. and stuff. So yeah, you can see over here with the Mario. We have Popco PD. They really make a nice team and stuff. Mario beats him with his shell. Oh ah. uh, yeah, and Balloon Boom. Hey guys, Balloon Boo. I'm gonna kill you, Mario. And then BAM! Then Boom Boo dies. So yeah, these are all of them. Here's our full DS set. We have two waves I have completed. Like two waves I have. Um, wave one I have completed and wave three I have. Or no, no, not completed, but I have two waves one and three. So the, this and this is from wave one, I believe. This one, this one, I believe is wave three. So I still need like three more plushes for wave one and then like a ton more like for wave three or whatever and so on. So yeah, here's Balloon Boo and all that. And now we're going to compare them really quick with the rest of the Marios that we compared with with the Wii one. So you can see we have All-Star Mario. You have a fair size. This is actually pretty tiny but really detailed. So even though it's like really tiny, you should still maybe get it if you want to get a Shell Mario because it's pretty unique. This is a different power-up of Mario and you've probably never... They, like Sine or nobody's made a Mario plush besides them. You can see it says SML, not Super Mario Logan plush. It says small. It means small. So yeah, here it is. And um, Wii Mario, you'll have it compared. So you can like see a size difference again. Um, and these Marios. And we've gained a lot of more Marios. These aren't all of our Marios. Of course, we have like a billion more to show off of Marios in the plush collection. So yeah, plush collection's been going. And yeah, I just can't wait to show you guys our, how our full plush collection looks for 2022. Like, I know I'm getting like off guard uh, off of all of this, but still. I just want, I can't wait to see how every single plush we have looks together in the plush collection. We almost have 300 plushes, I believe, because we have like, um, uh, like four more plushes on the way, I believe. Wait, yeah, like four more, actually. And we're getting 11 in this total haul, kind of. And yeah, now let's move on to Piranha Plant, which I'll quickly get. Now, our next plush is Piranha Peters. So here we have Piranha Oh, we, oh yeah, I forgot to mention he has like a wire so you can bend his neck and stuff. You can also close his mouth, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna eat the camera. But anyways, um, here's its tag. It's a localized version. You can see, we actually, but you're gonna say like, wait a minute, isn't this also the old piranha plant? Well, yes it is, but we got this at Hastings long ago from the little buzzy version. And this is a Sene version. This is Sene version. And this is a little buddy version. This one came out in 2013. 2013. And this one's uh, 2011. Which is crazy because you can see the tag. It clearly says 20, uh, 2013. And over here in the back of the tag, it says 2011. And now we're going to compare it with All Star Piranha Plant. Oh, the wrong plant. We're gonna compare it with Ulster. You could see not much of a difference, actually, just a little bigger. The pipe's a little better. I actually kind of like this one a little more. It's just so colorful. I love that it has. I love its tags and stuff. And you can see this came out in 2017, I think. Yeah, 2017. And yeah, this is the plant family. And our last comparison is gonna be the Popco Presto Peep. 
we're going to have some of the plant family. We would still need to get fake pearl on the plant and dino, and then we'll have the full plant family. So yeah, that's the rest of the comparison for all of these. So we'll move on to the last, but not least, the Modern Party 5 brand new Tag Yoshi. Bye bye. 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 Now we have the Mario Party 5 Yoshi. No, I didn't get them for $300 because there's a lot of listings for him, but I need to take like for $300. Here's its tush tag. I really love its tush tag so much and stuff like that. And yeah, here's its tag. I can't believe the seller got it for $4.00. From Fun and Games Import Shop. But yeah, here we go. I don't want to be rough with because it it's brand new and all. But here's an overview of it. It's like so adorable. And it looks exactly like something that I have. And that something happens to be the medium Mario Party 5 Yoshi brand new tag and everything. It looks the exact same, but wait, that's not all the Mario Party 5 Yoshis I have, is it? Well, you may be thinking it is, but nope, I have another medium Mario Party 5 Yoshi that I got for $50 like new without its tag. So I have three Mario Party 5 Yoshis, two medium, one small. I'm not gonna get another small one because, um, yeah, because I just got this because it was brand new tagged for a pretty good deal. But, like, I got all of these for a good deal 50, like, basically, like, $4 and $15. So, yeah, now let's compare the small Yoshi with its other counterparts made by Sine, which is the DS Yoshi. I actually thought the small Mario Party 5 Yoshi was gonna be the same size. And it's actually uh, slightly bigger but yeah it looks really nice together you see this Yoshi's like a big step up because it looks more accurate to Yoshi you can see I also got this for ten dollars brand new tag they got every single Yoshi at Island DS Yoshi I have brand new tag I got the full set complete all brand new tag for around like ten to fifteen dollars so that's pretty crazy you're probably wondering how do we find good deals because we keep checking on eBay every one hour or every minute so yeah, here, let's compare them with the All-Star. Small Yoshi is about the same medium for some reason. But yeah, you can see a big difference. These two kitties are just adorable Yoshis and you can see how Sine has approved because the Sunshine Yoshi is like exactly like this. So this is our first attempt at, our second attempt at making the Yoshi. So you can see the big difference. This was 2004, I believe. And it says 2003 because that's when the game came out. 2004 and 11 years later, they made this perfection. 2015-2017 All-Star Yoshi. So our last comparison is gonna be in the Mario Riding Yoshi because you can see it has Yoshi on it. You can see that this one kind of looks like Yoshi's Island DS Yoshi. But yeah, these are all the Yoshis we're comparing. We're not comparing it with big one because that wouldn't really make sense. But yeah, and now let's just show the full huge plush lot that I got before we move on to Mr. McCormick. So here we have All-Star, or no, all, not All-Star, Mario Party 5, Yoshi, brand new tag. Um, the DS Mario, brand new tag. The Wii Mario, brand new tag. And the Piranha Plant, brand new tag. And that's it. I, I got this huge lot for $35. And yeah. So here's the fuzzy. I'll go kinda quick with this one because we've showed it and a lot of times but I'll just show all the fuzzies. So this is my fourth, fourth fuzzy, yeah, fourth fuzzy. So that's my new hobby, getting fuzzies. So here's my first fuzzy. This one looks more like the stock photo you see everywhere. And there's that one. And here is second fuzzy I got. And here's third fuzzy I got. <laughs> and here's Evan's fuzzy, which we opened on camera, which you can go watch. So here's five real fuzzies. The first four are mine. And then here is fake fuzzy. Had him for many years, probably since 2015. So, not much to say about Fuzzy, I just wanted to show how much we have. So there's six Fuzzies, and don't be surprised if you see it grow more, cause I love me some Fuzzy, and boy will I get more Fuzzies, and I will.
We've already been squawking for 20 minutes, but let's get on to the final one of today's long video. Dry Bowser. Beauty great as always. My favorite plush ever. Still my favorite plush ever. And unless they remake the Galaxy set or something, I think it will remain my favorite plush for many years to come. So yeah, here he is. And let's compare him with my original Dry Bowser, which I got in November of 2020, when it, came, when it first originally released in the United States. So you, from, from the naked eye, you can see that there's not really any differences, but to a, a trained Dry Bowser eye like myself, you can see that this head is a little more tilted on this one. It has, its eyes are going more into its skull compared to this one where it's more visible. Its hair is kind of the same. It's, um, this one is like more straight and flat and this one's a little more curvy, but that's no issue at all. No, when going to their main bodies like this, you could see its chin is more up compared to this one, which has a much lower, not much lower, but you can see lower face compared to this one. His head is up high on this one and his head's much lower on this one. But again, you couldn't go wrong with either one. Their feet are pretty much the same. Their arms are pretty much the same, except this one's just has a different arm posture, which is just not something to compare it with. It's just uh, how the plush is. So the back is where I will tell you all of the differences I noticed and why I got another dry Bowser in the first place. So let me go over to this one. This is my original one that we opened on camera that you can go watch too that we'll leave linked. But the main reason why I wanted a second dry Bowser is because the shell on my original one, which is the one I'm holding right now, has a little bit of some flaws in its shell and I just was afraid to do anything with it because I did not want it to like tear. So you can see right here that for some reason the stitching up here is really poor. I bet if I wanted to I could rip it open but I am not because I am smart. And another one and probably my biggest fear here is that its shell spike thing is coming unsewn. And it was like this out of the box too. I am not a rough person with plushes at all like some of these other people that go and throw them in the beach or something. So I keep these in mint condition and it came like this out of the box. So I wanted to get a better quality or a better sewn dry Bowser so I can hopefully use it more. And this one does not have those problems. You can see a tiny bit of stitching but that looks like it would hold up well. And up here you can see too but that like I said looks like it will hold up well. And none of the spikes are coming apart which is awesome. So just a better sewn shell on this one, which I'm glad, and is the main reason why I bought another one. So I just have a few other plushes to compare this with. In our original review, we never compared anyone. So this is a great chance if any of you are curious how this Bowser is. So let's move the original one out of here, and I will compare it to the regular All-Star Bowser which I bet more people have in their household compared to this one. So I bet this one has a bigger reach than this one does. So I'll just show that they're basically the same size and they're both by Sanai, both amazing quality and both. I love this one more because the, like the sheer details on it are much better. Like the bone details on it are exquisite. This one doesn't have any bone details, but it's still one of my favorite plushes. So they pretty much the only thing that's similar on them is just the size. I just wanted to show them off because they're both Bowsers. So, and I will compare it with my 2011 Sine Bowser. So I will go get that real quick. So I've said in videos before that the 2011 Bowser is one of the gems in my collection and no one really talks about it for some reason. I don't know why. Everyone cares about, oh, the 2011 Junior, the 2009 Junior, or the 2013 Kamek. 
but no, this one is my favorite out of all of those. And, but I'm biased because I'm a Bowser guy compared to everyone else who's a Junior guy and a Sally guy. But Sine 2011 Bowser is tinier than this one, which is expected since every All-Star one is bigger than their old Sine counterparts. It would have been interesting if Sine made a dry Bowser during this era. It probably would have been just as good because they've always been pretty good with making their plushes right. So smaller than dry Bowser which is expected. So here's the Bowser family real quick. There's my original Bowser I got in January. And this is my August Bowser. November 2020 Bowser. 2011 Bowser and the now September 2021 dry Bowser so here's my Bowser family there's two of each all-star one hopefully I'll get another regular 2011 Bowser to make it all equal with each other because for right now this looks great but having another 2011 one in the mix would also look pretty good as well so thank you very much for watching this whole haul we did. We know we talked a lot, but if you made it through the whole video, we appreciate you going through the whole video with us. And if you liked the video, make sure to give it a like, of course, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more unboxings like this. And make sure to join our Discord in the description. So goodbye and thank you for watching.